found this little assemblage of very, very small shells on the surface of this round piece that was probably about a foot around and a good six inches thick. It looked like a concretion of some sort with these interesting little shell fossils on the surface. Let's look in closer. Okay, I've got my little jeweler's loop over the uh, camera lens here, and uh, you can see what it does to my jeans. So we're kind of looking close up. Those are about a quarter inch across each one of them. And uh, there's some of them that are actually imprints rather than the actual shell, but most of these here you can see are, are outward. Let me try to position so you can see that better. All right, here you're seeing kind of edge on, and you can see that the, the shells that are outward, although you can see that here there is a shell imprint, but there's no, the, the, the bump you see is, uh, let's see if I can get my finger in here without being too large, that bump is actually a shell beyond the, the little imprint of of a shell. Now what I don't know is are these complete shells, I know those were they living when they were buried, or are these just um, you know empty half shells that were swept up and uh, caught here and buried at this spot. So I want to dig down amongst the, the shells and uh, set this down and I may be able to do that under the camera I don't think so I think I'll have to do it and then show the results so what I want to do is dig out some of that sediment between the shells and I say sediment but it's it's lithified and then uh, but I can see what appears to be a little bit of a uh, some cracking there so I'm hoping that I can take this little screwdriver and get under that and dig that up and peek under the edge and see if these shells are complete or if it's just a half shell. Well, it turns out that lithified material doesn't like to carve apart very easily, but it does crack apart. So I broke this segment off and uh, been trying to work my way under the edge. It does look suspiciously, get that focus, um, that these are just half shells like you'd find scattered on the beach rather than, you know, because it looks like that's the edge of the shell and there does not appear to be another edge matching it coming up from underneath. Um, but I'll have to get in underneath it a little bit better to be certain that, that is what we're seeing. So I'm going to give, give another try, um, probably just crack one of these in two, see what the cross section looks like. Well, I think we finally have an answer to the question here. There's a little tiny fragment that I broke apart. And if we turn it just so, you can see a little bit of the shell material. And um, so here's a cross section of it, which is really hard to see here. Um, Try zooming in. I've never tried that. Ah, yes, very nice. Be a bit blurry, but um, let's see here. Where is the shell material? Ah, there it is. You can see the little scallop there. And if we turn it to the side, you can see a little fine edge and then the, the grainier um, stony material inside. So that definitively answers the question that these particular shells were just single layers. They were not actually um, you know, complete living creatures. So this would be like beach muck, bottom of the sea muck, etc. Um, that these were swept out of, out of and um, let me get the, back to our normal zoom. Oops, we lost our magnification. Here we go. And uh, 
So that kind of answers the question. The, um, the, the concretion or whatever it is they were sitting on, they're just lying flat up next to it. And, uh, you know, who knows, maybe a bit of a, of a suction effect from the hollow inside of the shell that's sort of holding it up against it as it got buried. And uh, even from here, you can kind of see there's no interior to that shell. It's just a, a surface shell. And then there were a few of them that, that weren't, like that one there, is actually an imprint. So it was actually going the other direction. And so, but there does seem to be more than 50% of them are with the hollow part facing towards the inside. And uh, some of them, of course, facing towards the outside. And uh, they kind of apparently stuck against this object and then were, were buried. So probably some kind of a water flow type situation when they got buried here. And of course, got buried deeply enough that they weren't, um, you know, eaten up as they normally would be, you know, ground to bits and uh, recycled. So, um, and you can see from the quality of the, the smoothness of the shell that they they were not, um, you know, and they were they were not deteriorated very much when they got buried. They were in pretty decent condition. So, anyway, that's the the little shells I found today. Quite interesting.